Hello Camels and welcome back to Campbell Now. I'm Abby DeBoer. And I'm Ernest Strawber. A big congratulation goes out to our Fighting Camels football team as they won the inaugural barbecue bowl against Gardner Webb this Saturday, this past Saturday. The Camels hoisted the Hog Trophy above their heads after their 42-28 victory. The Camels are now 2-0 in conference play as they head into this week's matchup against Monmouth University. Campbell will also be honoring our military forces this weekend in Barker Lane Stadium. Make sure to come out and support your Camels and the military this Saturday at 1 p.m. Campbell School of Business will be hosting an information session on Tuesday, October 12th about the 4 plus 1 Masters of Business Administration. Students will learn about the admi admission qualifications as well as the application process. The 4 plus 1 program allows undergraduate students the opportunity to earn two degrees in five years instead of six. This event will be held from 2 to 3 p.m. in Lundy Fetterman, room 124. If you are interested, register on Campbell's event calendar website. As fall settles in, the excitement about the North Carolina State Fair is also rushing in. The State Fair returns to normalcy this October. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to go to the fairgrounds in Raleigh, and this is what I found out. Last year's fair was canceled due to COVID-19, but no worries. People can make up for lost time in 2021 from October 14th to October 24th. The fair is overseen by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. As explained by Public Affairs Assistant Director Heather Overton, North Carolina State Fair has something that is not seen anywhere else. Um, and I think that is truly what makes our State Fair unique is the vendors and the people that, that help make it up. This year, there are 100 rides, live music on two stages, and many different exhibits. Some important dates to note, October 15th is Friday Frenzy. Students get in for $8 with a recent report card or student ID. October 21st is Smithfield Foods Hunger Relief Day. Anyone who brings six cans of food gets in free. These offers do not include ride tickets or wristbands. Free parking is offered every day at select parking lots. For more information on parking, tickets, and events, visit the State Fair website. Again, the fair opens later this week, October 14th, and runs through October 24th. UNC Chapel Hill cancels class this Monday and Tuesday after the school reported two suicides over the weekend. The school's chancellor said that students should rest and check in with each other. Since COVID-19 has appeared, mental health cases and suicide rates have skyrocketed. Chapel Hill is not the only school that has been experiencing these issues. Make sure you take some time out of your day and check on friends and classmates. If you need assistance, make sure to contact Campbell's Counseling Center. After Saturday's storm, many Raleigh roads have been impacted with damage due to the amount of rain. Some roads, such as Campbell Road, suffered from having a pipe broken. This road is currently under investigation to determine how long it will be closed and when it will be reopened again. Many more roads were affected by flooding, but have reopened by today and are in full operational use. However, still use caution when traveling home and try to avoid these roads if you can. The government's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, has stated that it is now safe for parents to take their kids trick-or-treating outside this year. He, he instructs people to get vaccinated as an extra degree of protection. The FDA, the FDA is planning to host a meeting later this month to get the green light to give vaccinations to kids younger than 12 years old. Dr. Fauci also stated that he would like cases to drop to 10,000 per day before mandates should be lifted. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a safe and relaxing fall break. I'm Ernest Strawberry. And I'm Abby DeBoer. See you next week.